Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. I am Tunados. So now we have the sad music playing. We killed the uh, dwarfs here. Yeah, humans really are the greatest species on the planet. We've killed Komodos and wrecked their home. We've killed dwarves and wrecked their homes. They're gone, that's it. The dwarves are gone. Oh, there's a fairy over here. Can we save her? Were we quick enough? Surge, is it alright? Ugh! Who are you? Skelly, what the fuck are you talking about? I said, when did Skelly become psychic? No, actually, everybody says the same thing. I usually bring uh, Guile in here. But he says the same thing too. They always say I don't feel the presence of fairies around anymore. <laughs> we are sorry, we know you're hurt and you need an ambulance, but we're leaving. We'll be right back. Search and the gang have more important things to deal with. Nice little theme starting up right here. We heard this at the start of the game. This is the dragon theme. Welcome, son of man. Come to me. So the dragon's alive in this world. There it is. Oh, so he's psychic too. I think you and Skelly would get along really well, because apparently both of you are. So I guess this is the Asian dragon. He's got the little Confucius chin hairs there. And the giant yellow eyes. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. Also, take a Chinese proverb with you. He who sucketh cock shall be the one who sucketh in the end. Alright, so thanks for the breath. And we got a frog print summon, which only uh, blue innates can use. Like Fargo is a blue innate later on, and stuff like that. And he gave us a Chinese proverb. Alright, cool. So let's see if the fairy that we uh, left is... Oh, I guess the fairies are still okay. They said they were chased out of the forest by humans. So instead of blaming the dwarves for being violent, we just blame humans. That makes sense. We don't blame the person for their actions, we blame the cause. The environment. Look, I just saved your lives. What the fuck are you guys lecturing me for? Get the hell out of my face. Why is Kid here? A very sad tragedy triggered by the acts of humans. No, it was the acts of dwarves, actually. Although our village has been saved, no one here thinks kindly of man. Please leave. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright. Well, and Kid passes out. Because that makes sense. Alright, got a cutscene. Let's watch this. Luca. Oh, we got links. Sorry, but a little bit of Sephiroth walking through the fire there. It looks like a little bit of copying. Maybe that's just me. But what is Luca doing in the game? I thought she was from Chrono Trigger. Boy, where am I? I fainted. I have a terrible Australian accent. Sounds more like a constipated man than an Australian. Oh. 
So I guess Kid has lost people she's loved in the past, too. Kind of thing that she did call Lynx a murderer at Viper Manor. Here we have my second favorite theme in the game. Very emotional. Who is Sis? So Lynx burned down that place, that building, I guess. The orphanage, maybe. Yeah. But we'll get revenge on Lynx, don't worry. We'll kill him! Well, I didn't ask you. So we get a little bit of a philosophy here. Now she's a philosophizer. I see. Yeah, Kel, I know you're hurting, but it's just like the fairies, making fun of every single human being. It's not the way to go, I don't think, you know? Good for you. Alright, so we have the classic revenge motive here for Kid. Very heartwarming scene. If death and destruction are what you uh, seek. Alright. What is going on? The old boatman's gone. Oh, so we're trapped. Oh, there he is. Well, it's quite a cliffhanger there. Two seconds. Well, yeah, we had to slaughter a bunch of dwarves. We're very gloomy. Let's go. Yes, I'm sure. Get the hell out of my way. Let's go. So now I want to go to another world again. So we can go to Mount Pyre and go to Fort Draconia. And I'm going to meet you guys at Fort Draconia. Alright, we're here at Mount Pyre. Yeah, there was, uh, they're doing cleaning and stuff in my apartment complex, so that's what the noise has been today. SHUT UP OVER THERE! They can't hear me. So first things first, before we freeze the wa uh, lava here, I want to run in here and get a magma burst. Okay, now we can freeze it with the ice breath. Hell on my way? Excellent. The treasures in here are all pretty useless. There's a uh, inferno trap, some capsules, and then some tablets, which are just completely outdated. That magma burst is the best thing you can find. Oh, already? Salt and pepper again, huh? Let's see what they screw up this time. It'll be hilarious, I'm sure. <laughs> These guys get really, really annoying after a while. Oh shit, Skelly's almost dead. Oh, they messed up again. Oh, they lost the summoning element. What do you mean you lost it? Don't tell me you dropped it or your dog ate it or some stupid excuse. Faster and faster. Why the hell do I just be so damn stupid? That's it! So now they attack each other. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and help him out here. I said. Me to heal Skelly. Got a cure plus on Skelly. Because I'm a moron. There we go. God, these two are so freaking stupid. Not even in a funny way, they're just annoying to sit and have to listen to him talk every fight. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I will finish this fight next time. This has been Chrono Cross with Nados. I am out.